shot and paralyzed by a Tonight, an inspiring story about a young man shot and paralyzed by a stray bullet 15 years ago in Brooklyn. He's not now just a champion weightlifter. He's also trying to lift the weight of stigma off the lives of people with disabilities and level a playing field that has needed leveling for way too long. Here's Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne. No one would watch this picture of strength and determination and feel badly for Garrison Red. This is also Garrison Red, and he doesn't want your sympathy. His mom made that clear when he was paralyzed 15 years ago. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. You're still going to go on in life. You're still going to achieve anything you want to achieve. Red was going into his last high school football season his senior year when he was shot outside his home in Brownsville. But the doctor told me something early in my injury that really changed my life. She said, you know, you don't have to be the player. You could be the coach. He leads by example. Red is a Team USA para powerlifter trying to represent the USA at the 2021 Tokyo Paralympic Games. He trains in Farmingdale and benches 300 pounds, nearly two and a half times his 133 pound body weight. He is always focused on what he can control, not what he can. Red also tries to be a daily leader for the disabled community. His Instagram page and his YouTube videos show him being a regular guy. He also does how-to videos for paralyzed people. And he keeps the rail, anything stationary. And home workouts during the pandemic. But his crowning achievement is why he left his job at the IRS to start his nonprofit, the Garrison Red Project. It aims to help people with disabilities get the equipment they need wheelchairs, walkers, um, canes, whatever, whatever adaptive equipment that's needed, I try to provide for them. Lifting people's spirits along the way.